All right, in this video, we're going to uh, transition from the vertical flight mode we did last time to horizontal flight mode. So we're still at the oil derrick. We just landed there using the vertical flight mode. So we're going to take back off with the vertical flight autopilot. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll just do about 150. Um, and we'll first, before we do that, I'm actually going to go to blue line. So we're at blue line. Go 150 feet. As soon as I click that, because my vertical speed, my vertical flight autopilot is on and my heading's on, it's going to take us off. So there we go. It's going to take us up to 150. So the heading bug is on. Heading mode's on. So that's uh, maintain our heading. We have the alt the vertical flight mode on. That's going to keep us at our target altitude of 150. All right, so we're going to transition from this vertical flight to horizontal flight. All right, so we're going to make sure we're at full thrust. We are. We're going to go ahead and stay at blue line. That's fine. And we're going to start tilting our rotors forward. So right now our rotors, we have one on either side, are vertical. They're facing straight up and down like this. As we push this forward using the rotor tilt forward, this gauge is going to start going more and more towards the front. These uh, rotors are going to start tilting more and more towards the front. So 50% would be 45 degrees, and 100 would be facing forward like that, and 0 would be facing straight up and down. So we're just going to gently start uh, sending these forward. So we're at 25%. As you see, the speed's coming up, and as you see, we're moving away. Go ahead and go to the map, and we'll click the rotors forward some more. All right, so we're just below 50%. So once you go from 50% onward, the props are going to stop controlling the uh, the flight. So right now, our props change uh, orientation in order to roll us, pitch us, yaw us. Once we start going past 50%, the control surfaces on the vehicle are going to start doing that. All right. So we need to make sure we have a high enough speed before we go past 50%. So ideally 100 is good, so we want to just start gently tilting that forward. And as you see, we're going to go over 100 once we get past 50. All right, so now we can transition to our vertical speed mode. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it's going to start pitching the craft to maintain our altitude instead of using the collective, which is how the vertical flight mode does. In VS mode, that's vertical speed. That uses the pitch of the aircraft like a plane to change our altitude. The vertical flight mode uses the collective like a helicopter to change our altitude. So once we get over 100, we could go into vertical speed mode and deselect vertical flight mode. All right, so presently, um, once we go in this mode, it's uh, it should be holding us at about zero. It's currently not doing that, but um, it it automatically starts at SVS, which is set vertical speed of zero. When we go into vertical speed mode, we can manually click it where we want it. So uh, you probably just heard that noise. Uh, that was actually the generator turning on. Um, so we must have gone under 98%. So let's look at our gauges. Again, we're sitting in the control center. Yep, see, we went under 98%. The generator kicked on next to us, um, and that's what's charging up the station. As you see, the station is now charging. All right, so back to what we were talking about. So um, we're in vertical speed mode, so we can set our vertical speed where we want it. And uh, that's how we're going to control our altitude. So say we want to go up to, uh, we'll go 2,500 feet. All right, so we want to go up. So if we, if we tap on vertical speed mode, it will put us at zero. All right, and then we want to start clicking our vertical speed to where we want it. So we'll go up to, um, we'll do 1,200 feet per minute climb. All right, so we're going to start climbing at 1,200 feet per minute. And you see on the right here, we have our set altitude, 2,500, our vertical speed. Um, I don't know why this is reading 300 high now. I had that fixed before, but I'll look into it. And our set vertical speed is 1,200. So once we get up to uh, 2,500 feet, it will set our vertical speed to zero and try to maintain that altitude. All right, here comes the bug. There's 2,500, sets us to zero. Um, 
I'm going to make sure this is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. It was it was keeping us a little bit on the high side. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. So as you can see, we're still climbing. It's because we haven't pushed the uh, props all the way forward. So let's continue to tilt our rotors forward. That's also why the craft was tilting. So now if we're at uh, full forward on our rotors, as you can see, it's doing a much uh, closer job of maintaining our altitude. All right, so as you can see, we're starting to get staticky. This is just because we're getting too far away from our base station. Just for information purposes, let's look at the map. We'll scroll over and we'll look at TT Island, which is right here. And if I put a waypoint there, we're 14 kilometers away. So you see, we started getting static about 14 kilometers away. So we'll start turning back towards uh, TT. So I'm going to go heading bug left, and we'll make a left 180 to about a 270 heading just to head back towards TT base. You can even hear in the background that generator automatically throttling up to maintain our uh, our electrical charge on the uh, it, which is you know helping to power this uh, station. So as you can see, we're up going up above 98 uh, percent now. So as you can see, it's you can even hear the um, generator throttling up and down to automatically maintain the power setting or the battery level essentially. Alright, so if you look at our map, you see our numbers starting to go down now. So we were increasing our distance from TT base. Now we're starting to decrease our distance. Alright, so let's zoom out on the map. And so the way the system works is this is our craft over here. That's where TT base is. We'll hit R. That will recenter us on the craft. We'll zoom out. And as you see from our craft, we're drawing a red line to where we left that marker at TT base. If we look over here, you'll see this long red line. That long red line is where we're headed. So um, I don't have a, a nav autopilot set up yet. It's, it's, it's in here. It's just not working perfectly, so I'm not even going to mention how to use it. But it has this long red line. So it's a little bit to our right is where we need to go. And we want to line that, align that long red line up with TT base. All right, so that's lined up with TT base now. So we're going straight back to TT base. We're 12 kilometers away. All right, so we're quickly going to go through our flight speed modes. All right, so we're, we're in uh, horizontal flight. We're, we have a heading hold on. We have our altitude and vertical speed mode. Uh, I'm just going to set it to get back up to our altitude. Um, all right, so we're at blue line. Blue line is going to burn about 1,200, is going to use about 1,200 RPM per turbine. So that's going to burn a lot of fuel at 1,200 RPM per turbine. So that's great for taking off, maneuvering around, but you really don't want to be flying all day in that because you're just going to be burning a ton of fuel. So it's like a real-life aircraft. Uh, when you're close to the ground or you're landing or taking off, you want to have a high RPM, uh, low pitch on your props, just like a regular aircraft. So we're going to start increasing our props to pink line. Pink line is max speed. So as you can see with pink line, our speed goes up. It also decreases the uh, the speed of our uh, turbines down to about 880, 880 RPM per turbine. So that really uh, saves us a lot of fuel. So this is our max speed, and it will save us more fuel than blue line. So we, not only do we go faster than blue line, but we uh, save fuel. If we go all the way to green line, green line is our max endurance. So you just think about it as green for money. So that green is going to give us uh, more uh, fuel savings. All right, so this is our max uh, fuel savings. So we lost um, you know, about 30 knots from max speed, but currently our RPM on our turbines is down to 440. So we're saving a lot of fuel. All right, so now we're going to get ready for landing. We're only four kilometers away. So we're going to go ahead and we'll reduce back to blue line. All right. So we're starting to uh, slow down here. All right. And so I'm going to start tilting my rotors up. So I'm going to start tilting them, and we'll tilt them up to about 50, a little bit more than 50%. All right. 
and we'll zoom in here on our map and as you can see we're only three kilometers away so we want to descend so we're going to do a big descent right here we're very close and we're going to start descending so we'll go down to max descent that's 3,000 feet per minute and as you can see on our uh, screen there's TT Island right there there's the oil derrick all right so we're, we're screaming down now we're uh, doing 114 uh, knots so I'm actually going to drop a bar of thrust. We'll go back to the same power setting we like to take off on and maneuver at. So three green, uh, one blue. All right, and we're getting close here on altitudes, and we're close to base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the vertical flight mode. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and click vertical speed off. So this is going to zero us out. I'm going to tilt the rotors all the way to the vertical and it's trying to climb us just because I didn't change the altitude so let's go to 500 alright so it, as you can see it's gonna tilt the craft crazily that's fine alright so I as I said before in a video uh, you want to do small changes with altitude as you see the craft kind of tilted up and did did a big maneuver but it recovers itself automatically, no problem. Um, so I set the target altitude to 500. That was because I switched modes with, I still had 2500 set in here. I should have, before I descent, set, set it to 500. All right, so we're at 500 feet now. Uh, we're at zero um, speed, zero knots. So we'll go and we'll, uh, we'll look over at the base. So we've already done, autom not automated, but autopilot landings using the stability mode on. So we're going to go ahead and we'll do a manual one here. So I'm going to go ahead and take off heading, take off vertical flight mode, and I'm just going to fly it manually. So I'm going to stay in blue line, stay in three green bars, and as you can see, I have a natural uh, slow descent, and I'm just going to manually fly it. So this aircraft, this craft is very stable, so right now my hands aren't on the controls at all, and as you can see, it's barely changing attitude. So I'm going to come back to controlling it. And we'll go ahead and the gear never came up, so we'll keep gear down. And I'm just gently using control forces here, and we'll just go in for landing. So I'm going to make sure the gimbal camera is on. It is. I'm going to go into gimbal camera mode. We'll keep that under us. That will help us with our landing here. So we'll do this a, manually, a manual landing. Uh, I'm not going to use the um, autopilot at all for this landing. Uh, stability mode's not on. Uh, nothing like that. The only way to really get stability mode on is to use that vertical flight mode. Alright, so as you can see, we have our uh, shadow of the craft and we have our green spotlight. We're going to use that again to try to line up with H. And then again, I'm manually controlling this. No, There's no stability system on. It's all manual control at this point. And I'm just gently coming in, trying to uh, land close to the H. Alright, so there's just very gentle uh, command inputs. And there we go. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll feather the props. Bring our uh, thrust down. You don't have to, you can just shut the engines off if you want to, but I, I like to bring the thrust back down. Alright, we'll go ahead and stop our two turbines. Shut up procedure is pretty easy. We'll close the gimbal camera off. Uh, master power comes off. Generator comes off. And the uh, circuit breaker comes off for the command center. There you see, that was manual landing. Not too bad. All right, thank you for watching.